Hi everyone, welcome to Nancy's Mediterranean Kitchen. Today I'm making a Mediterranean dish. It's kofta dish in Greek or meatballs in English, kofta in Arabic. So it's very easy. Let's see the ingredients together. Here I have one pound of beef, ground beef. I have half an onion grated. I have handful of parsley. My spices are salt, pepper, uh, one teaspoon of oregano. I have some breadcrumbs. This is half a cup, but maybe I won't use it all. And I have one whisked egg. And I have one clove of garlic. I started by preheating the oven for 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Usually or traditionally the meatballs are uh, fried, uh, but I would like to uh, show you how to make it a healthier version uh, by baking it, baking it in the oven. So I will start by chopping the parsley to very thin uh, pieces. I can put it in the food processor, but I want, I want it to be fresh, to stay fresh so that we can have stronger aroma. I also grated the onions because I like it to be soft. And you will notice that in my recipes, I don't use, use a lot of onion and garlic because I'm more focusing on the main dish. If I put too much garlic and too much onion, we will really forget the main taste, which is the meat. So that's why in my dishes, I like to use a little bit of garlic and a little bit of um, onion. So here, uh, as I said, I have just a handful of parsley and I have half an onion. With, with uh, one pound of meat, I will add half an onion, grate it. Then I'm going to add the parsley. Then I'm going to add the garlic clove. I'll use the press. It's just one clove. So already the garlic, the parsley, and the onion, they have very strong aroma. So we don't need to put too much. Now we add just one teaspoon of oregano, salt, pepper, and I'm going to put the egg first. And as I mix everything together, I will see if it needs more um, breadcrumbs. I started by like two tablespoons. Now I'm going to put the glove on and I will mix. You will see that this recipe is all from scratch and it's very easy. And you can do it and freeze it and use it in any any time you want, in any uh, easy dinner, last minute dinner. And all, the kids also like it very much. I think it needs more breadcrumbs, just a little bit. Breadcrumbs here is to hold it together. And there is another option. If you are gluten-free, you can use gluten-free breadcrumbs. I tried it and it worked. All the spices together with the garlic, with the onion, make it smell so amazing. Now I will roll them into bowls. And I went ahead, I added some oil on the uh, pan. This is a broiling pan. And the broiling pan is good for the meatballs because the heat will come also from the from the bottom, which is what we need, so that it can cook through. And usually it takes like 10 minutes in the oven, 10 to 12 minutes. And it's very soft and tender. If you want to try the traditional way, you just fry them in oil and they will taste more crispy, but I like the healthier version and it tastes also delicious and soft and i will show you at the end how it will look like so the bowls are this size as you see it smells amazing here in the kitchen with the garlic with the parsley with the onion that's the go-to um, dish if you have guests at the last minute and 
you can just pull it out from the freezer, cook it with pasta, cook it with rice, and everybody loves it. Now my meatballs are ready to go in a preheated oven on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And it made 20 meatballs, one pound made 20 meatballs. So now I will put it in the oven for between 10 and 12 minutes in the middle rack. Now I just opened the oven after 15 minutes because I checked and I found that 10 minutes were not enough. As you see, it looks nice. It's supposed to be soft and not crispy. And now I will just double check with the thermometer. It should be 145 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's exactly 145 degrees Fahrenheit now. So it's ready. And I will show you how it looks like from inside. Here is the kofta or the meatballs after I took them out. And they look so soft and tender as you see. And now I will open it from inside. It looks delicious and smells delicious. Enjoy. I hope you try this dish. I hope that you and your family enjoy this dish. And please leave me the comments below if you try it and you can post some pictures. And also please don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Thank you and see you next time.